the Bible review. Act two. The Bible is full of interest. It has noble poetry in it. Some clever fables. Some lots round history. And some great morals. And a wealth of obscenities. And upwards of a thousand lies. But this, according to many, of the people is the most greatest work of ever, ever written by people. I suggest you can say the same thing about the Quran. There are many despicable things in that book. Also, many things that completely say the other thing. Maybe. I say just maybe. If there are parts in your Quran or Bible or Tenach that say animal sacrifices is okay, maybe you have to ignore them. Or say that rape is okay, ignore them, and listen to the parts of that book that say that it's not okay. It's then that you pick and choose all of your Bible, or Quran, or Tanakh, or other religion book. Parts you like to use to justify your abomination of beliefs, tradition and habits. What have I to say? Stop being a dickhead. Stop being a spiritual hypocrite. Muffy or Rabbi or priests how few to condemn slaughterhouses one of the most evil places on this earth artists spiritual hypocrites because they promote inequality and they promote discrimination their support speciesism the first form of hatred people are torn being told in Western and also in other parts of the world where Abraham religions are the main cause of uh, reasoning. We have to awaken from our so-called horrific dream. As Einstein once have said, a human being see themselves as something separate from the rest when optional delusion of his consciousness this illusion is a kind of prison for us to restrict ourselves to only giving compassion to some close to us our family members our friends Maybe the people of our country. A task must be to free ourselves from this prison by spreading our compassion to all living beings. Earthlings. And nature in its beauty.
go vegan. And stop worshipping things you have made in name of your gods. Like the Quran or the Bible or the Tanakh or the Holy Wall or the uh, Shrine of Turin or some other religions artifact and start to worshipping things your gods actually have created look if you are uh, believing Islam or Quran or the um, Bible Christianity believe or you believe in Judaism Jewish man, or you believe in uh, sure matri look me not better than Genesis look to the garden of vegan or oh, how I had to say the garden of Eden <laughs> Where uh, the first humans live to the Thou shalt not kill commandment. I live therefore vegan because that's the only reason, and that's the only way that you can live without bloodshed. That's the only way that you can live without bloodshed if you are. Our, uh, Not um, being. If you are not being vegan, you cannot claim you are non-violent. By the way, because non-violent means non-violence. It don't mean pick and choose to which kind you are non-violent. If it come, your ego out, your selfishness. Stop being so elitist, can't. I say Watch things from the victim's point of view Instead of the from the victim I saw If you are not the victim Don't imagine it entirely from your point of view Because if you are not the victim It becomes pretty easily to mock your victims Make fun of their entire existence Label them stupid and dirty, like Muslims like to do, like Christians like to do, um, some Hindu groups like to do, majority of them in the time uh, were oppressed by uh, the Turkish empires. Uh, yes, Turkish empires have destroyed many. Vishnu temples and turn some of the mausoleums. Because they have no respect for their religion. Of the Hindus. Because according to their Quran, you have to kill anybody who worship idols. And Hindus worship idols. So according to the logic of if you are an extremist Muslim, uh, Hindus have no right, and Buddhists have also not rights, because atheists also uh, deserve no rights according to that logic. Over uh, what stands in some parts of the Quran, and stop denying it. Stop uh, and using tactics like uh, Kinman. Meaning lying about what stands in the Quran uh, to promote the Aya Islam and Assyrian. Um, I will also say that I am not necessarily against the Quran or the Bible or the Tanakh. I am against vicious traditions, beliefs, and 
habits that people have made up in name of their gods.